Hey there, this is Sam from JSL Saskirs and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add nested column in your Go High Level page. Okay, so here in this uh, example, uh, you can see we have uh, added uh, two cards side by side uh, inside the column and again uh, we have also added uh, two images here uh, side by side uh, inside uh, the left column okay so basically uh, this structure is a two column row and inside uh, that uh, two column row I have added uh, another row okay which is actually the nested row inside uh, the column okay so let me show you how it actually uh, works and how you can do uh, the same thing or any structure you uh, want to build in your go high level page okay so let me show you a step by step uh, here I am on the go high level page builder and first of all you need to uh, make your design like uh, this example uh, I have added a two column row okay at the first uh, left column I have added a video and uh, two different paragraph and at the right column I have added a headline paragraph and a button okay so now uh, also I added uh, two different uh, a row okay so this is the first row which has uh, two column uh, with the image and also text and also again we have another uh, row which has uh, two different images okay so in the example you uh, can see here uh, we added the images uh, into the left, left column and uh, the card into the right column okay so here is the card and images so let me show you how you can add this into uh, your uh, column okay so here uh, after this uh, text okay this paragraph i am going to add this row okay and after this paragraph i am going to add this two column image row okay so this one so let me show you how you can uh, do this first of all you need to go to your JSL course snippets library okay inside uh, the snippets tab uh, you need to go to the website and funnel okay inside this category you will find the nested row and column this snippets okay so click this uh, get code button and then uh, all you need to select the domain here okay so uh, if you already have integrated your domain inside the uh, JSL code snippets library then you can select from here otherwise you need to go to the domain tab okay and then you can uh, integrate your domain okay so let me select the domain that I am going to use here uh, let's say for zslsaskis.com I'm going to use this domain so once I select that domain the code generated okay so it's pretty straightforward and simple way to uh, create your code okay so after that all you just need to copy the but copy button to get this code copied and then uh, go back to your uh, go high level page builder and add a row okay and then inside that row add an element this is the, a custom code element and then open that uh, code uh, editor okay and then paste your code okay that you just copied from the uh, JSL code snippets library okay so I just copied this code by clicking this button and then added the code inside go high level page builder okay so now uh, you need to do a few more things okay so first of all you need to decide uh, where you actually want to uh, show your uh, nested uh, rows okay so uh, in this example I'm going to add the first row into here okay uh, after this paragraph so I need to uh, select the paragraph and then inside the advanced tab okay I need to uh, copy the uh, CSS ID of this paragraph okay so let me do this okay so go to the advanced tab and then get the CSS selector for your uh, paragraph okay so it can be paragraph it can be any element in your go high level page builder but in this example I am going to add uh, below this paragraph that's why I selected this so now I'm going to copy this uh, selector and then uh, going to select the first row that I'm going to put uh, after that uh, paragraph okay so I just selected this uh, row and then I'm going to uh, advanced step okay and inside the advanced step uh, you need to put the CSS class okay so uh, just add the CSS class called move here hyphen and then put the CSS ID you just copied okay and after that 
Uh, all you just need to uh, remove the pound sign that came with the copied CSS ID like this. Okay. So all you just need to do this and click enter. Okay. And the CSS selector is added. Okay. So this one is done. And now I'm also going to add the second row. Okay. With the images uh, right after this paragraph. Okay. So uh, again, I need to do the same thing. Selected the paragraph, go to the advanced tab and copy the uh, CSS selector for this specific paragraph and then I'm going to add the CSS class to the row which actually I want to move uh, inside uh, after this paragraph. Okay, so let me select this go to the advanced step again. Okay, so just uh, add move where hyphen and then paste your uh, paragraph ID okay and then again delete the pound sign okay? so if you keep the pound sign then it will not work so you need to make sure that you have deleted the pound sign from the selected ID okay so after that you just click enter okay so we are all done now okay so but it can be uh, work with any uh, uh, row or it can be your column or any element you want to move uh, from one uh, uh, section to another okay so this way actually uh, the nested column and row will work so you will design everything inside go high level and then by using the course snippets and the custom uh, css uh, selector you can move that uh, column or row uh, inside another row or column okay so let me save this uh, page okay publish and then i will preview okay so it's saved let me preview this okay you can see this uh, two column uh, row which has the card is added after the paragraph and then the image is also added after the this paragraph okay so this way you can actually uh, add any uh, rows inside another column okay you can make this nested uh, design okay to make your layout good looking so this is how it actually works